so hi guys i had once made this video here and um, i had designed a very nice slideshow effect but i realized most of you are asking about if is possible for us to make this um this design responsive so um like a friend here says is this fully responsive if i add a mobile breakpoint won't everything fall apart and then you also have another one uh just giving an idea maybe someone wanted it to be responsive so um i realized i need to create something that speaks to that and uh today um just gonna go directly to the remix file which is this same one that i had posted on the description and i'm gonna start and try and make it responsive so as you can see we only we only had a single breakpoint and um and uh, i'm just gonna come and click this plus icon and as you can see we have tablet so i'm gonna create uh, the tablet and the phone and as you can see right now it's just taking the size of this um desktop so the work that we want to do now is to make this responsive so again if you don't understand the word responsive responsiveness just means that the design that we have on our desktop needs to be a uh, native or it has to be it has to be well it has to respond to basically to the size of our phone and uh, the good thing is we can see the dimensions so generally as you can see here we have eight or nine what this means is that the phone starts from eight or nine so anytime we we decrease the size of um, of our screen from eight to nine downwards it becomes a phone breakpoint and let me just demonstrate what i mean so if i click this desktop um as you can see we have here 1200 so if i reduce it notice what happens when you get to eight or nine so the moment we get to eight or nine from here this is when now uh, as you can see you can check this um this menu uh that's when now we start moving to the phone so um so let me see what i can do here so um as you can see here we had this light show and it had a stack inside so so we have to create a different um card because you see this slide show here is actually linked to these cards so what we need to do is we need to des design this card that is gonna be responsive to our phone so we're gonna go to the root we're gonna go to the most basic thing so remember this card was actually a component so i'm just gonna right click it and i'm go i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go to where we can edit it and uh remember we had three cards here so i'm just gonna click add a new variant and i'm gonna call this my phone uh let's let me call it phone um phone one because remember we have three and then um i'm just gonna now try and edit this so that we have a phone a breakpoint so if you want to get an idea how you can design it even maybe i'm not really sure how it's supposed to look like i can simply go to this website and uh, this is a website where we got the idea and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna inspect this website and uh um i'm just gonna decrease the size of my view like this so generally when i decrease the size like this it's gonna go to a mobile type so notice here we have 412 pixels so this is a mobile type of how the website looks on the on the on the mobile so as you can see i have this type of uh, design so i'm gonna just hold um screenshot this and um I'm gonna just paste it inside my uh, my workspace here. I'm gonna come here and just paste it on top here. So Control V. So now I have something to work with. So um, let me just reduce the size. So uh, the first thing is you can see it stacks on top of each other. So let's try and do that. So I'm gonna come here to this phone. And I have this left side and I have this color and I have this uh, right side. So I'm gonna come and take 
this uh, left side and I'm gonna hold control C and I think I can paste it inside this right side so I'm gonna paste it to control V uh, now as you can see it's, it's now stuck in on top of each other I'm gonna do the same for this car for this button control C I'm gonna paste it inside here and I'm gonna do the same for this other one control C and paste it inside here so let me just increase the size of this so you can Mm, let me make it uh, overflow visible so you can see the content as they overflow so I'm gonna just click this right and click the escape key so that I can go to its direct parent and I'm gonna come and say overflow visible so now as you can see the all the contents that we have pasted inside here are here and then now I can come to this uh, uh, left right left which is this left one and I can delete it because we don't need it and then um, then I'm gonna just come and pick up this line here so we see there's a line here and uh, I'm just gonna come and look for the frame which is that one I'm gonna delete it too so now we have something but we're still working on it so let's now decrease the width of this uh, phone so again remember the phone breakpoint starts from 390 so just to be safe i'm gonna put mine at 3 um 360 or 356 uh let me just do 362 is okay so again now you see it's coming well and then i'm gonna go to my height i'm gonna set it to fit the content and then um so you see the content is still overflowing here so let's go to the the frame which is this the right frame which uh, has has all the content inside and I'm also gonna make it to fit the content nice so now as you can see we have something coming up so uh, remember let's start with the logo on top and then the text so I'm gonna come in uh, identify the logo which um, the logo should be um, let me check it out it should be this one so I'm gonna just come and oops so I kind of looks like we took the whole of the left and uh, it's kind of like we copy pasted it twice so let me just delete this because we don't need it and uh, sorry I think we've lost our logo so we only need this logo so I'm gonna hold ctrl x I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna paste it inside here now the logo should be somewhere here this is good i'm gonna drag it using my up up arrow i'm gonna drag it till on top then i'm gonna take this text i'm gonna drag it on top and then i'm gonna now delete this and then i'm gonna see do we have this part i'm gonna see so we have the logo we have the text and then we have the name and the title and the button so name logo text name title and the button so we don't have this integrated apps thing so now as you can see we're coming closer to this idea so again you see this card here has a border so i'm gonna give mine okay even mine has a border which is good um yeah so now let's work on the content inside so notice that this text is um is in the middle so I'm gonna click this text and I'm gonna go to the text uh, styling and I'm gonna click this align to the center and then I'm gonna do the same for this one and also align the layout to the center and then I'm gonna come to now I'm gonna hold a skip key on my keyboard and I'm gonna try and go to the main the main um, the main parent which is the right and let's not call it even the right anymore let's call it uh the center so i'm gonna come and make sure we've aligned all our contents at the center like that so now as you can see things are coming up really well and i can add a little bit of gapping to it so um maybe i can reduce the gap in slightly uh looks good so now i have the content inside I have so I don't need this logo let me just get rid of it I have my color there so if we view it as you can see we have something similar but again we have this um, color here uh, going outside so 
to this color here it actually means there's an overflow so i'm just gonna go to the phone and i'm gonna make sure the overflow is set to hidden so now as you can see there's nothing that is overflowing outside our card so i think it looks decent um perhaps we can minimize the size a bit as you can see this one is kind of smaller in width so let me make mine around 300 and you know 350 just so that i can see my content well yeah so i think my card looks um good uh maybe it's all about this color yeah uh, as you can see this color is uh at the center so we can do the same um so let me identify my radio color and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go and see if i can drag it at the center here and um, of course i might want to minimize the size of it so make it make it a little bit smaller so i'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller like this so it's just a small adjustment so that it fits our something similar to what we have yep i think that's good and uh maybe i can also make sure i have some healthy padding so maybe i can try like 12 oh 12 is quite big so maybe six just to make sure there's some breathing room ah so that's good we have the first card so i'm just gonna now click add another variant and as you can see when i click this variant it's it's actually display something similar so this is what we want so i'm gonna click this add another one and now we just need to change the color just change the color very quickly we have something nice so notice we have three phone variants and we have um three uh desktop variants so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go directly back to my home page and i'm just gonna click this card here and i'm gonna uh, duplicate it Control d i'm gonna click this again i'm gonna change it to variant phone one and that is what happens is it takes a bigger size so again i'm gonna make sure my width is set to 350 but we, we don't need to change this per se but we can just change it just for a visual so then i can click this again um I can duplicate it i can duplicate it again now we have two cards i just need to change this to phone two and this one to phone three so now we have some nice cards so what i just need to do is notice this slideshow is linked to the other ones so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna duplicate this slideshow and uh, i'm gonna call this first one the phone slideshow so we realize we need to create two slideshows and i'm gonna hide this i'm gonna hide it and this phone one i'm gonna go and um and actually you know remember what happens in the phone is also reflected in the um in the desktop part so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to this phone slideshow and uh, i'm gonna check the items and I, i'm gonna remove every single one of them and then still in the in the in the desktop one so let me just hide this for now so you can see what i mean so come and show this phone so as you can see the phone is empty so i'm just gonna come and connect these um other cards to it so this is the phone slideshow that i want us to connect like that so again so i'm gonna make sure the slideshow is set to with fill so you notice ours also changes here but remember we don't want to use this slideshow um it looks bad we don't want to use this one in the desktop part so i'm gonna hide it i'm gonna hide it and i'm gonna return this one so show uh then i'm gonna go back to my desktop here and the phone is still visible and then i'm gonna make sure it's uh, aligned to the center when i check this slideshow setting so let me see okay let me first make sure um the height is i adjust the height so that it fits well and then i need to make sure that this card comes to the center so um like that and then i'm gonna make sure that i have some breathing space so uh, i'm gonna go to this tuck which is the main parent of the slideshow i'm gonna add a padding of like 20 so that 
we have some breathing room but i don't really need bottom padding so i'm just gonna change the right and left padding so maybe i can use 24 and 24 so that looks good um yeah it looks good and then we can as you can see the dots are a bit down so i need to pull them up so go to the slideshow and i'm just gonna make sure that the dots here are a bit up so as you can see they have an inset of negative 65 so i'm gonna minimize the insets and bring them like that which looks good um so maybe now we can view the phone as you can see it works really nicely ah nice so that just it's coming up really well so now we have a phone you know phone breakpoint yeah and that's pretty much it i think um it comes really well comes really clean so you can always tweak the settings on how you how fast you want this to go the interval the outer play the draggable effect which is pretty nice so that's pretty much it um this was uh, quite a raw video and i hope you picked up some idea and uh yeah so thank you for watching till this far and i'll see you in the next one